What's up, what's up, what's up? Today, I have been brought out for dinner by the Mega Bush family. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. I'm I can't wait to try me some gango. A few inches later. Unfortunately, we have been chased away. The police have come around and they've asked us to leave this place. Our food is not even yet ready. So we have to, you know, tell these guys to rush our food. I don't understand what's going on, but this is not fair. We have to leave. We have to go home. Someone asked, what about the food? And they told us, what is more important, your food or your life? And that is where we turned and decided to... Because this morning we are having plantain porridge and it is the best porridge in the world, in my opinion. It actually tastes like custard. It's insane. I had it in Jamaica and it changed my life. You gotta try it. If you have a Jamaican friend, ask them to make it for you. It's so good. So today I'm so lucky because my Jamaican friend taught me how to make it. We didn't even have a blender, but she created it. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> you have to try it. So... This is how our day is starting. This aroma is just taking me right back to Jamaica. Jamaican food shots! <laughs> the baddest thing. Mm. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, the exact same time. It wasn't even rehearsed. <laughs> like, that was legit. She's laughing as, like, as <laughs> painful as hot porridge by the new. <laughs> I feel like it needed more bananas. Oh my goodness. Flavor. I love it. How is it? It's nice. Mm -hmm. But it would have been better with peanut butter. Uh, Guys, this is so shocking. <laughs> I never <laughs> met anyone who puts. This is respectful towards. Uh, I've never met anyone who puts peanut butter in porridge. Oh. We're used to putting peanut butter in bread. Look at Zimbabwe, baby. Wow. We always put peanut butter. Yep. But like the peanut butter, butter spoils the like the flavor. The, yeah, the flavor. All the porridge is gonna, gonna taste like, like peanut, peanut butter. butter. Exactly. It's, no, it enhances. <laughs> all peanut butter does is peanut butter was made to enhance the taste of porridge. So. But it makes the porridge taste like peanut butter. No, it makes the porridge taste like a blend. Of I don't care. Guys, what do you think? Do you do that too? <laughs> Drop a comment. But I'm happy there's no peanut butter for you to put. <laughs> so you get the original taste from Jamaica. A few minutes later. How are you dealing with the heat in Zimbabwe? I'm like, what? What heat? <laughs> what? what heat? Really? It's been so cold. Ghana. <gasps> Ghana, Ghana, it's hot. Yeah. Ah, it's been so cold. Especially today is the hottest day I've really? seen since I came here. Yeah. You. It's been so As cold. the night's cold or just... Uh, Especially at night. Ah. Night, yeah. Uh -huh. So I've really been freezing. I've been sleeping with my big coat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But I just had it because you guys are in winter. Oh, it's yeah. It's gonna end yeah. soon. But the winter here is weird. Really? <laughs> It'll be cold in the morning, then at mid it becomes midday. Hot. It becomes very hot. South, South and you're Africa, like, what happened? Southern Africa has got the best winter in the world. Really? really? Yeah. yeah. So our winter are not all that bad. Yeah, the, the temperatures, they get low during the morning and uh, during midnight. But as you go towards in the morning around 10, you know, the temperature starts to rise and we're good. It gets hot. morning another day in zimbabwe the city sunshine city the sunshine yes. city so i'm very excited today i'm hanging oh, out harare, with, uh, this 
it. No, it's, a, it's Harare, the sunshine yeah. city. <laughs> and also, the bad. other uh, meaning of Harare is the, the city that never sleeps. sleeps. Really? Yeah. Harare. Yeah, we'll <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. So, um, uh, with some Zimbabweans who are taking me around the city, and this is very exciting. Guys, Zimbabwe is beautiful. Oh, the trees. Look at that. So, truly, this tree is that you see the jacaranda tree. Oh, jacaranda tree. Yeah, it's only that we in winter, come uh, summer, yeah? we we'll love these trees. Really? They produce uh, the purple flower. And the road will be purple. Oh wow! You know that depth? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think that's what happened when I was in uh, Virginia, in the US. The trees looked so dry, but they said it was the season. <laughs> then it would change. Anyway, guys, so um, this right here is uh, take, uh, there is a driver of the day taking us around. Please, what's your name? GKZM. <laughs> GKZ, he's a YouTuber, yeah. so I'll put his name on the screen. So subscribe to his channel. GKZ to the world. And uh, what is your name? <laughs> what is your second name? Kapesa. Mm, and I was just telling him that Pesa actually means money in Kenya. Pesa. So your name actually, yeah, from Mpesa. So your your name is money. Uh, money, yeah. But that's so cool because you know, <laughs> you know, they say the words money. are powerful. Yeah. Money, money, yeah. money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 they say words are powerful, so you're gonna attract a lot of money. That's right. Because right. anytime someone calls you, they're calling money. Mm, mm, yeah. I like that. Huh? Thank you money. very much. Yeah, amen to that. Yeah, money, money. So, where are we going today? So, today we're gonna go for lunch. So, I was thinking that we're gonna have lunch along Chiremba Road, which is closer to Chiremba Balancing Road. Mm. So, we're gonna go climb the granite boulders in oh, wow. Chiremba. Hey, it's some so, exercise. So what I'm gonna, we're gonna show you. He uh, likes taking people for exercise. So <laughs> it also took us to. Where did we go? Don't push out. He loves it. He took us to. So I think he likes exercising. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna show Todi Chilemba Balancing Grounds. It's a nice place. It's about 13 kilometers out of town. Mm, okay. It's beautiful. And uh, there is. Uh, I'm gonna show you. There's a money rock. Oh. So this rock mm -hmm. uh, resemble the, eco uh, the economic powers of Zim. Oh really? So on every note there is that stone okay. on the money. Um, when you say balancing rocks, do they mean the rocks are balancing? Yeah, they... Uh, they can fall? No, no, they won't. <laughs> 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 so the way ge geographically, uh, you know, it's a sort of like a geographical formation of rocks. Okay. That happened long time ago, about 200 years ago. Okay. So it's sort of like a volcanic activity that happened there. So it left the other stones exposed. In the meantime, this is what the road looks like today. Speaking of roads, GK. Yeah. You should tell her about what's happening with our roads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's we happening with the roads? <laughs> in Southern so African today, country with new We are in August. Uh -huh. So the Sadag Head of States mm -hmm. meeting, which will happen this month, next week. Yeah. So all the heads of states in Sadag, they're going to be here in Zim. Mm. So our president is going to be elected as the uh, the chairman of Sadag. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Zimbabwe. <laughs> oh wow, it's a yeah. big deal, huh? It is. Huh? I knew the event was happening here, but I, I didn't is. know your president will be elected. Yeah. As. Oh. So it's a big deal. Oh, that's nice. So most of the roads have been uh, reconstructed. Oh. About awesome. four major roads. So Are we gonna be passing on any? Is this one of them or? No, I'll show you. It's not one of them. Okay, I'll be looking forward but to that. But it's still smooth. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, the road is smooth. <laughs> that's epic. Yeah. No, I have to say it because you know yeah. what? I there's a time I was complaining about what's roads, happening. So I see four cars. I see houses. It's probably some riots. Oh, they're going somewhere. Riot police. Where are they going? Uh, so let's avoid town. Huh? You know, avoid yeah, town. Yeah, especially with cameras as well. Mm. What are riot police? Yeah. Mm. Where are they? Yeah. Oh, they're the ones causing this traffic. Yeah. There's so many of them going yeah. this place like this. Like I hope everything is okay. I don't know. Hope everything is okay. They are like in big glories, so yeah. many. Oh. oh, no. Anyway, we'll be fine. Yeah. So we'll show you the roads, eh? Yeah. So. Like I have said a million times, Zimbabwe is giving Nairobi. I mean, Harare. I'm not going all over Zimbabwe. 
uh, in a good way it looks like Nairobi it feels like home mm. I don't mm. know why and then their meals are really similar to ours wow. so yeah but I'll keep you guys posted so here we've got Sadza and uh, yeah. Ugali in the uh, Ugali. Yeah. you guys also have it's Kumawiki yeah we do vegetables eh? so yeah. Kumawiki. kill the week it's not that it's not there in Ghana <laughs> it's serious it's also okay we kind of have it in Jamaica we call it color but it's a different version. You call it what? Kalalu. Oh. Oh, Did yeah. you have it? In the US they call it colored green. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Oh, they're nice, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, they're healthy as well. Yeah, very healthy. Like they add blood to your body. So I was watching your video. You were planting some in your garden. Oh yeah, I had to. I had to because anytime I go to Ghana, out to the market in Kenya, we eat it like every day. Wow. But when in Ghana, it's not there. Like in the market, it's not there. In Kenya, you see them all over. Wow. So I had to plant them. So now I have them in my backyard. So anytime wow. I want to, I just pluck. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. So keep you guys posted. So I am asking them. Do they have any roads named, you know, Nairobi or Kenya? Apparently not. They don't have such roads here in Harare. However, uh, uh, you told me something so interesting. So uh, here, you know, most of the roads here in Zim, they are named after the liberation uh, leaders. The really? guys who started the liberation oh, wow. in Africa. So here in Zim, we've got a road called Kwame Kuruma. No way. No way. Person. Let me and tell also, you. We got a Kwame Mall. What? Kwame what? Mall. A mall? Mall, yeah. yeah. It's sort of like a mall. Like Maya a flea market. Was there the other day, the other day. Ah. Maya was there. Mm. He had a video there. He did Listen, a video. Kwame Kuruma is the biggest legend in so, Africa. <laughs> Listen, like don't even do that. Honestly, I feel like Ghanaians don't appreciate Kwame Kuruma. Mm. You guys don't even, even as we studied about Kwame Kuruma in school, he inspired our leaders to fight for independence. Mm. He is Africa's like father, like you know, like That's grandfather. Right. Mm, I right. have so much respect for Kwame Kuruma, right. and I'm so happy that I've come to Zimbabwe and you can see they appreciate Kwame Kuruma. This is so cool. That's right. So wow. most of the roads, so the one that we passed is Samora Mashal. Mm -hmm. Samora Mashal was a former president of Mozambique. Yeah, Mozambique. Of Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, Nelson what? Mandela one. Please tell me you have Jomo Kenyatta. Got, no, we don't have. We've got Julius Nyerere. <laughs> uh, that's not fair. <laughs> Southern Africa leaders. <laughs> but 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 Kwame Nkrumah is from Ghana. Yeah, he is. That's but uh, he played a role yeah, he played in a the big liberation role. of Zimbabwe. Oh yeah, yeah but he even, he even inspired our our, pres our first president Jomo Kenyatta. Yeah. So yo, this is so cool. What do you guys think so about that? So Mugabe stayed in Ghana. Ah, okay. And he married a Ghanaian uh, wife. Huh? Oh wow. What was her name? What was her name? Um, Salim Mugabe. Salim Mugabe yeah. From Salim Ghana. Mugabe. Let me tell you, it's all about intermarriage. Exactly. <laughs> We said you exactly know, at the same time. Robert Mugabe knew what was up. Exactly. <laughs> I honestly feel like a great men intermarry. Don't come for me. I'm just saying. Don't just stay in your country and marry someone from your country. Intermarry from all corners as long as they're black. Right, intermarry. Right. So yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Hmm? So you look nice. Oh, thank you. Guys, so we came over to this place. It's called OK Mat. I'm hoping to get uh, rubber shoes. Also, they have butter here in Zimbabwe. Here in Zimbabwe, just like Kenya. So, it really is, you know. So, yeah, I, I want to just buy uh, rubber shoes because, see, my shoes, they're not fit for, yeah, for climbing up. So, I'm just going to grab that and then we head out. That's what's up. <laughs> Guys, I didn't know. So, I got my tennis shoes. <laughs> Yeah, and oh, I wow. came here to buy, and I'm like, oh my gosh, she knows me! <laughs> wow. yeah, thank you I so much. You're, You're fun, welcome. Huh? You're yeah, fun. I am a fan. Oh, wow. thank you. Thank you so much. Please. I tried the chicken. In. How was it? I tried the chicken. It's not, it's not good. It's not good. Huh? It's not good. But your pizza it's good, is good, huh? and your creamy in is better than the one in Kenya. Wow. But okay, but it's, it's not that it's so good. Please don't come for me. Like, who does <laughs> she think she is? I'm just being honest because you have the same one. But um, the the creamy in so thick, so good. Yeah, yeah. that's my opinion. So I know in the, in in Kenya you got uh, yeah. creamy in chicken. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's gonna be my first time trying uh, KFC yeah. here in Zimbabwe. Uh, she was asking me if it's as good as the one that I had in Jamaica. They say the Jamaican KFC is the best in the whole world. So let's go in and find out. Let's, let's go. Yeah. 
foodie do you know of any zim artists that you love or that you've heard about that you're like yeah this one is the one for me well honestly i the only artist i know from zimbabwe is the one maya did a video with who's that one you know the guy, one who went with yeah, oh, Jack Fraser. Jack Fraser. Yeah, so Jack is very like uh, common in Zimbabwe. Like if you go to any wedding, you're not gonna get Jack any Fraser, If you're wedding. ever watching this, I'm yeah. a big fan. I want to come to one of your concerts. Please, uh, you met my husband. Yeah, I would love to meet you too. Pass. Someone send him this video. If, if, if there's any where he's performing I'm or where I'm here, I'd like to come. Biggest fan. Maybe the Bye, Lily. In the valley. Can you see? I know you're Yeah. It's really amazing to see you on in person. You know, because when you see someone on YouTube, you're like, ah, this person, this person, you know. And when you see them in the flesh, you're like, I don't even know how to be. Oh, yeah. It's so amazing to see you. Thank you. Really, yeah. I really and appreciate you and your family. Sorry, I yeah. had to show. <laughs> No, 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 it's fine. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. you and your, and your family. Thank you for spending the day with me. Mm -hmm. They are buying us lunch. They are taking mm -hmm. us to the rocks. They yeah. picked me up, driving me around. I don't take it for granted. Wow. I am so grateful. I am blessed to have you guys uh, spending the day with me. And I, I thank God I'm putting it on video. So I'll remember. Oh, wow. Wow. So, yeah. wow. That'll be so wholesome. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, do you know this is mother and daughter? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you look. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> when you come to South Africa, you start talking like that. <laughs> you guys look so beautiful. Really? And I love the relationship you guys have. Oh, really? Oh, you know, my mom passed away when I was 16. Oh. So when I see someone with, and their mom, they're having a good relationship, I admire that. Oh, so, so it's come out to be very, very responsible. Yeah, person. thank you. Very thank you so this, much. Uh, this video you did when you brought your brother you, a car. Oh, yeah. I find it ugly. That's too bad because it's yours. I bought you. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, you remember that? Oh, yeah, you that. You know, you, at least you remember. Uh, yes. I can touch you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Singers like this piece. Mm, really? This piece. Because Jamaicans don't mess. So <laughs> I guess you can't guys, with this. what she's saying look, guys, is that uh, in, in Jamaica, what they have in Jamaica for this, it, it's a really big size. It's like mm. three times this. Are you kidding me? It's that yeah. big? Yo. Jamaica, but why why are they doing this to Africans? Because if they're taking all the best because you don't you know, demand Jamaica. we demand it. Oh you guys demanded it. So demand a bigger set. Ask for zinger. Okay. That's we have it. Now we know. Uh, we only about uh, three minutes or four minutes away now. Ah so you're almost there. Yeah, almost there. So it's only eighteen kilometers out of Harare, the city center. Yo, you guys, balancing rocks, rocks on top of rocks. Wow. We here, man. National Monument in 1994 wow. on the basis of unique physical rock formation, magnificent scenery and rock painting, which has authentic, scientific, economic, spiritual and social culture values. So the balancing rocks comprise of ge ge geomorph what you call, what's that word there? Geomorphological yeah. features such as castle cops, copies and uh, balancing oh, rocks formed by rocks. rectangular and whatever, whatever. <laughs> so let's get in. <laughs> wow. So when you come to Zimbabwe, this is definitely something you should come and check out. I'm so excited. Right. Welcome back to Miss Trudy Channel. We're here at Chiremba Balancing Rocks. So this is the site map. So we're here at the office. 
mm. offices. Eh? Okay. So we gotta go and show you the money rock. From the money rock, we go to the egg rock, and then we're gonna go to the elephant rock. It resembles, it's sort of like an elephant. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go to the lookout point. So this is an interesting point. Really? You see the whole of Harare. No way. Including the Harare International Airport. Really? Wow, you love it. And then we're gonna go to the flying boat. So when they say a flying boat, there's a stone which resembles a flying a boat mm. over there. And then we'll do the rock paintings. And then we are done. We come back. I don't know whether we'll do the devil's rope. I wish you had a drone shot so we get a drone oh, shot of this place. You mean no one placed this rock on top of this one? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like seriously. No, nobody. It's, a, is, it's is, something to do with Georgia. Wow. Look at that. This is huge. And it's okay, like there's, there's four rocks. about this uh, rock here. Uh -huh. It's all on our paper money. Wow. So let me show you something here. Um, the money rock. Wow. So what they say here, you can read. The money rock constitutes granite rocks uh, superimposed on each other and intricately balanced. The money rock has been adapted as a seal uh, on colonial and post-colonial Zimbabwean currency notes. The natural stability of the rock formation symbolizes the nation's economic and financial resilience That's and right. strength. That's right. Very well said. So, you know, in Zimbabwe, we went through a hyperinflationary period. Yeah. But we're getting there, so we got a new current called mm -hmm. Zig. So, we'll show you. So, this is the Zig. You see, you see this picture here, yeah, Trudy? Okay, yeah. okay, nice. So, on the old current, mm -hmm. it's there as well. Oh, nice. So this is the Zig. Oh, nice. The new current. So you see all this. Is these. so cool. So that's I the, understand now something about Zimbabwe. Yeah, so there's uh, a lot of significance about this rock in terms of the economic and financial resilience and strength of the Zimbabwean current. I like it. So, I feel like I'm saying I'm t teaching the history yeah, of Zimbabwe. <laughs> yeah. So they took a picture. Yeah. And put it on our paper money. So this is the. Don't worry, Mari, the Mula Mani. Mula Mula. <laughs> money, 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 money. Money, money is called what? Uh, money. Money, 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 money. Money. <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah, it, so it's all about the money, eh? Yeah. So this is if you're not talking money, don't talk to me, boo. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they say it. So we, we're going oh, to the egg rock. Egg so rock. this oval-shaped granite boulder resembles an egg. Mm. So they say a traditional symbol of protection, fertility, fertility, and mm. nourishment. Oh, wow. It is believed that by touching the rock, the barren will heal their infertility. Hey, let's, so let's go. go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so let me pack today. Let me pack. <laughs> Is it true, you guys? Let me Is pack. It I don't true? know. Probably it's uh, something to do with. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me pack. But do you know that? The so egg the egg means the egg, egg of a woman. A, the oh, egg is yeah. a symbol of fertility. In so let's go, Tony. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tradition. Tony, I want to show you something. What uh, food? See this fruit here, it's, we call it mutamba tree. Okay. It's a monkey fruit. Ah. So the monkey enjoys this fruit. Here. Is it edible by human beings? It is. Things? It's nice. Oh really? So this is the tree. It's really nice. Can I have one? Yeah. And taste it? Why not? The, is, it, is it tripe right now? It has to I turn more is. orange. It is. Why it is it turns, so hard? Yeah. It's so, so hard is, though. This is mutamba. This yeah, is it's got so tree. many. So this is a monkey fruit. Ah. Oh. Test nice and sour. Three this years. oval shaped granite boulder resembles an egg, a traditional symbol of protection, fertility, nourishment. Uh, it is believed that by touching the egg rock, the barren will heal their infertility problems. So let's go touch it. Huh? Please, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Yo, please, someone, someone, what, take the camera and, oh, you're, you're filming both sides. Uh, please help me. Debs, please show me somebody. I just want someone to show me touching it. Yo! Let's go, way. let's go touch it. Eh? Uh, which side? Uh, any matter, side. Which side you touch? Yeah, let's just touch it. Is that the part? You need to go touch that one up there. Hey, climb. climb Work for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is not easy. Oh, you can touch. Touch. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go yeah. up, man. I can do it. You can do it. No, no, I'm missing you guys. <laughs> touch it. 
<laughs> if you're from Zimbabwe, let us know. Is this true? Do you know any infertile woman who came and touched this and actually bought children? Please come to the comment section. Touch we need to know. Let the world know no. what Zimbabwe has to offer. So let's go. Wow. I think you can go there. You can go on using this, this section here. Just, just climb there. Balancing. Just climb there. Eh? Try to climb. Oh wow! I touched it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. man! Wow. This is the um, hmm. the fruit, the the monkey fruit. You don't like it? It's sour. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's not trendy. You mm. said it tastes like a marula. Mm -hmm, but not the sweet version. Guys, what is the name? Is this oh. a marula? I know there's an amarula tree. Mm. Even me, I'm surprised. Mm. Mm. But it's like it's the like a drink. Mm. It has some bitterness to it, but mm. it's still sweet. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Yeah. And I'm gonna carry this home. <laughs> yeah. Do you want another one? Mm -hmm, of okay. I don't, you don't like bitter things? Cause it's not bad. It's not. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Guys, so now we are at the lookout point. Apparently, when you climb up these rocks, we are going to be able to see the whole of Harare, including the airport. So I'm excited. Let's go up. The more you travel, the more you appreciate God. Like, he, it never gets boring. God surprises you. God is so creative. It's like, how? God, come on, huh? And they're not even falling down. Not hey. Even. God. Look at that one, the one on top. And you know what this does to me usually? It makes me feel like really nothing is impossible. Right. Because you travel and you see impossible things. Right. And that means our God can do the impossible. So 100%. he can also do it for me. That's right. The, the one that's even more impressive is there's some that have really big ones. Can you see this? It'll yeah. be in the reverse. Oh. So the smaller one will actually be at the bottom. Oh wow. And the larger ones on top, and it doesn't move. You push it if you kick are it. You many, years and years. many years, many years, it just stays in place, wow. and you're like, wow. So God. if you are into geograph, please come into the comment section and uh, tell us about the rock formation. Please explain. In, uh, and in terms of the volcanic activity, and how these rocks up are, uh, are formed. Huh? This is the most vintage point from where one can have the best view of the scenic beauty of the monument, of the monument. and its surroundings. Yeah. It is likely to have been used as a lookout point by prehistorical communities that were settled in this area. Wow. So this is the highest point here. Wow. And the Please don't tell me you are going up there. No, we won't go there. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Oh, the one thing that I like about this uh, point here, you can actually see a rather international airport oh. from here. That's going and to also, see. you can see the airport and a bit of Harare. I don't know if there's any other place in Harare where you can get such a 360 view. Tori, do you see something there? Right over there. Yeah. Right over there. Those buildings there. What are that, they? That's, that's, that's your town, your CBD. No, no. Harare. That's your airport. Harare International Airport, where you can. Okay. Wow. What a thought. We have done much needed exercise. This is so cool. Ooh. You can stop my phone. So, Mr. Rudy, yeah. you need to go up there. Okay. I'll, I'll hold your hand. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta see Harare. I was like, what if we fall together? Oh no! You sure? <laughs> Good. Oh so Best view of Harare. This is amazing. Look at the breeze. I mean, hear the breeze. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. So that's Harare International. That's Any last words? Uh, guys, uh, please subscribe to Miss Trudy. She's going to half a million subscribers. Please subscribe to my channel, People and, uh, of Zimbabwe. Go see the world. You know, the world is big. Don't just stay in your room. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> go out there and see the world. Exactly. And what is the name of the channel? GKZM. So please, guys, Trudy Gang, go over to his channel and subscribe. Yeah, I'm he so has happy. been I'm so such a, an amazing host, and I'm so grateful. 
I'm so happy to meet Miss Trudy. Thank you I've so much. I've been watching your videos oh. for many years. Wow. You are in Kenya. No way. I followed you everywhere, wow. everywhere you went. In the States, in Jamaica. Jamaica, me and, uh, Now you're in Ghana, married to two. I know. What so you started Maya. watching me since back then? Sorry? You started watching me since back then? Yes, yes, yes. Thank yes. you so yeah. much. I really appreciate you. Yes, yes. And you, if you've been watching me for years, since I began my journey, what do I say? I love you so Be much. Careful, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And the reason why I started YouTube is because of these guys, especially the Kenyan oh, yeah. YouTubers. Okay. They are doing amazing, Thank amazing you stuff. So much. They are showing us the world. Thank you. And uh, so not forgetting. Zimbabwe, you can do it. Zimbabwe, too. you need to do it too. We need YouTubers, yeah. 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 And especially young ones. You at guys me. are the pioneers, you yeah, know. Yeah, you're you're trying, creating yeah. the way for them. That's right, that's right. So yeah. I'd like to say to Mr. Wademaya, the Ghana baby. Thank you very much. I know we've met Miss Trody and I know you are the one who is showing the Africans the way. Yeah. And especially those in diaspora. Well done. You know what the Maya is going to uh how many subscribers now? 1.6 1.6 million subscribers. And the guy is doing an amazing, an amazing job showing Africa to the world. And a lot of diasporians they're coming back to Africa. Yeah. That's an amazing, amazing stuff. Wade, my brother. Let's go. Let's show Africa to the world. Bye bye yeah. for now. GKZM to the world. Road to 10,000 subscribers. I am on 4,000. Bye. Let's go. This rock uh, resembles a boat which is flying. Huh? <laughs> so the flying, Hence the boat flying formation. Huh? Wow. So let's go and have some pictures and have a look at it. That boat can't fall. The, that other rock it can't fall down. <laughs> <laughs> it won't, so, it's been sitting there for many many years. Four years, huh? Yeah, so it's quite balanced now. This is amazing. Oh yeah, God, so you are incredible. On the side. Guys, when you come to Zimbabwe, don't just go to the Victoria Falls. That's right. There's so much more to see. That's right. Guys, nah, Zimbabwe is on another level. No, 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 no. Listen, what? I used to think Pizza Inn, Chicken Inn, Creamy Inn is a Kenyan brand. Then I was told, no, it started in Zimbabwe. Wow. So, there is the story about Insco. Insco is a big company, it specializes in food industry. So, Insco is the company which, uh, 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 which, I mean, which formed Chicken Inn, Cream Inn. Pizza in, and they are all over now. They've gone regional. They are now in Zambia. But they started in Zimbabwe. Yes, they are now in Zambia, and they are now in Kenya. I think they'll be moving to Ghana soon. Wow! So, Listen, I never knew. And another and thing then, he's telling me that is very shocking. He's talking about Minute Maid. I thought Minute Maid is Schweppes. made in Kenya. There's a company called Schweppes. Here it in does, Zimbabwe, it does Minute Maid, orange flavor, lemon flavor, mango flavor. You will love the drink. Started here in Zimbabwe? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's okay. Listen, <laughs> I hat off to you guys. Yani, you guys, you're on another level, Zimbabwe. That's right, that's right. Because you guys are producing locally made things and taking them to the world. That's right. I am so impressed. But in Kenya, there's a drink. I'm, ah, I'm we can forgetting. peel. We can peel. Yeah, it's very yeah, nice. Yeah, the guy is, a, is, a, is an amazing yeah, man. Yeah, I've, I've yeah that's seen, Kenyan I've made. I've seen quite a lot of those bottles here in Zimbabwe. You also have them here? Yeah, we Ooh, it's them. even Kenyans are doing big things. <laughs> and in Ghana? In Ghana, Don Simon, locally made. <laughs> Please show, show our subscribers to us. Oh, okay. okay. oh, yeah. oh, yeah, that's in Zimbabwe. So I was Zimbabwe telling Trudy you and she. <laughs> Zimbabwean sunset. sunset. That's funny. <laughs> so I was telling Trudy, Trudy she's going to go to Big Falls. Yeah. So I was telling Trudy that she needs to do the wow. sunset cruise along Zambezi River. Yeah. She will love it. And don't forget to go to the Boma, the place of eating. Mm -hmm. So you eat traditional food, you will love it. And they dance too as well. Mm -hmm. And it's a lovely place to be. I can't wait. Don't forget the falls. Thank you for the heads up. I definitely will check them out. Oh wow, it's actually rock paintings. Yeah, Guys, so place, we yeah. are at the rock, the what rock the painting? Rock painting yeah. And we can actually see uh, some paintings that are being done here. Yeah, so let's see some animals. Can we see some animals? Can we? can we? see only people there. Eh? So you're saying this is uh, the local tribes that used to live yes, here? Yes, so they used to paint here. So oh, this wow. painting has been here for generations and generations. No wonder it's like it's fading. Yeah. Slowly fading, but yeah. you can still see it. Yeah. And here, 
people here, people. Wow, uh, interesting. I, I wonder see. what they were trying to do to, to, to communicate. <laughs> They should be animals, I think, on the other side. Uh, they were using the people are defacing, huh? They, they are, are fading, huh? They are defacing. Like, yeah, they defaced. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> what, <laughs> is is what is it? What is it? Hey, guys, this please, let's, let's, is this? let's look after our monument. Eh? Uh -huh, let's not them. deface our monument. Look at what's happening here. What is someone what, doing? What, I don't know how I many now. What, what do you guys do here? Is this please, a monkey or what? The airport guys, let's not deface <laughs> our rock paintings. Let's day two. What's up? What's up? What's up? Today I have been brought out for dinner by the Mega Bush family. So apparently this place works different. What you do is you come in and pick the type of meat that you want. Beef, chicken, sausages, liver, you know, anything, you name it. They've got such a wide variety. And then um, they bring the meat here, boil the meat to satisfaction and then um start frying what i love most is that they add vegetables on top you know me you know i love my vegetables and then um they fry and oh my god i won't lie guys i am just salivating right now oh my god oh look at this guys look at these oh my goodness i'm very excited i really can't wait to try it out i hear it has a name they call it here in zimbabwe they call it gango. <laughs> I can't wait to try me some gango. So we picked uh, different types of dishes, but we excluded uh, pork because some of us don't eat pork. So yeah. Oh my goodness. Have you tried this before? What do you think about it? Yo, guys, unfortunately, we have been chased away. The police have come around and they've asked us to leave this place. Our food is not even yet ready. So we have to, you know, tell these guys to rush our food. I don't understand what's going on, but this is not fair. We have to leave. We have to go home. Someone asked, what about the food? And they told us, what is more important, your food or your life? And that is where we turned and decided to just go home. This is crazy, man. I was having so much fun. This place was packed. But now, you know, people are starting to drive away. And uh, I don't understand, you know. But you're being told that, you know, some people are planning to riot, you know. So the government is just uh, trying to be ahead of them. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy, guys. It's not fair, but uh, yo, let's go home, man. Let's just go home. Uh, finally, we got home, and I've got to let you know that the food was slapping. Oh, my goodness. So good. Uh, you don't even understand. Next time you're in Zimbabwe, get yourself some gango and, uh, and shima. Uh, I mean, um, what do they call Ugali again? Yes, this this white thing, it's so good. <laughs>